Hey guys, so today we're making some chicken pot pie hand pies. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So I'm going to start by making the dough for uh, the hand pies. And so I have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And then I just added in two tablespoons of sugar um, as well as some salt. And then now I'm going in with one and a half sticks of unsalted butter that is cold. You want to make sure that your butter is cold. And then I'm also going to add in um, half of a cup of shortening that has also been chilled. And then I'm going to use my dough blender to blend all of this together. And you want it to um, be kind of crumbly like pea-sized crumbs within uh, the dough. And I've made this dough a few times on this channel. Um, if you've watched my apple hand pies or the peach hand pies, this is the same exact recipe. And so I have one fourth cup of vodka and I am using rain cane vodka. If you're interested in purchasing a bottle or two. Um, check out the links in the description box below. You can get 10% off of your purchase. And so I have one fourth cups of vodka and one fourth cups of water. I added a little bit of ice just so that it can be chilled. And you want everything to be chilled for this, okay? And so um, you're just going to mix this until the dough starts to come together. Um, it will be kind of crumbly at first, but that is totally fine. Um, I did end up using all of the liquid that you saw in the video and so I'm just going to transfer this out of my bowl onto my work surface and then I'm just going to kind of form this into a ball because we're going to put this in the refrigerator for um, at least an hour um, because it'll make the dough easier to work with later as you make the hand pies. And so I just wrapped it in some plastic wrap and then I'm going to let it hang out while I make the filling for our hand pies. And so you can use store-bought dough for this recipe and it will turn out just as fine. But I do highly recommend making your own dough, I promise you. Um, I got this dough recipe from the Stay at Home Chef and I'll link their information in the description box below. But this dough is really flaky, like it's a really flaky crust and it's a game changer. I promise you it is way better than the store-bought one, but if you, you know, not interested in making dough I totally understand and so now we're gonna work on the filling and so I have one yellow onion that I am gonna dice up and then I did buy a rotisserie chicken from the store but if you want to make your own chicken um, you can use some boneless skinless chicken breast or some boneless skinless chicken thighs um, and so I'm trying to keep it semi simple since I did make the dough <laughs> um, and so I am just taking the meat off of this chicken and I did use white and dark meat for this. And so I uh, am just sauteing my onions and then I'm adding in a little bit of carrots and some green beans. Um, typically I use uh, either peas and carrots or just like the mixed vegetable blend. But clearly I didn't have none of that in my freezer and I didn't realize that until I started cooking. So here we are. I had to improvise with uh this and so I saute my veggies and then I'm adding in one fourth cup of all-purpose flour because this is going to be for our roux and so you want to cook the flour taste out for about a minute or so and I'm just adding in some more um, avocado oil or you can use butter if you if you want and so I'm just gonna cook that and then I'm adding in four cups of chicken broth and I'm adding it in slowly because you don't want your uh mixture to get all lumpy also i typically put celery in my uh chicken pot pie but i didn't have no celery either so if you are interested in adding celery to this you can um but i'm just going to continue to add my chicken broth and i just made the broth out of some uh, chicken bouillon and then i am gonna season it because okay we don't want no blend food y'all i don't care what you season your food with just make sure your food is not bland okay and so i'm just adding some salt some pepper and if you're interested in these electric salt and pepper grinders i'll have the links in the description box below um and then i'm going to add in some kinder's all-purpose seasoning i'm gonna add in a little bit of italian seasoning or 
you could add in some dried uh, thyme to this recipe and again you can just season it with whatever you want I'm gonna add some garlic powder I don't have no onion powder so I didn't add that um, but just make sure your food tastes good to you and you're just gonna stir this up and let it simmer um, until it starts to thicken and so mine didn't thicken as much as I wanted it to so I did do a cornstarch slurry um, and then I'm gonna add in my chicken and then you're just gonna wait until all of this thickens up and then you want to make sure that you let your mixture cool off before you start to assemble the pies And you want to make sure that your uh, filling is thick enough so that when you start to assemble your pies it's not like super runny and then you won't be able to like fold the crust over and, and stuff like that so you want, want it to be on the thicker side and that is okay and so I'm just adding in about half of a cup of half and half or if you have some uh, heavy cream you can add that or even if you have some milk you can add that we just want a little bit of creaminess and so after I add that I'm again just gonna let it hang out and let it cool off because you don't want it to be hot because then it's gonna start to melt the butter in the dough and that would not be good okay and so next I am just going to start rolling out the dough um, and so I'm gonna place or put some flour on my work surface and on my rolling pin and on my hands and I'm gonna roll this dough out I am gonna use a, a small plate like a saucer to kind of I guess me measure out the uh, the circles for our pies and before I do that I am gonna fold the dough over a few times because this is gonna help to create those flaky layers okay so don't skip this skip this step make sure you fold the dough over a few times to create some flaky layers and as I stated earlier in the video this is the same pie crust that I've used for the apple and the peach hand pie so it it's really universal you can use it for savory or sweet dishes and like this is my go-to pie crust like my next step is going to be making like an actual like pie like a one in a pie pan <laughs> but anyway this is the size uh, saucer that I'm using and I'm just using a pizza cutter to cut around it it does not have to be perfect I am gonna roll like the circles out a little bit just to stretch them um, a little bit but this this is it y'all like I did this um, recipe a few months ago and I didn't record it and I was so mad that I didn't record it I had made those peach hand pies and then I had made this with the leftover dough and I was so mad I didn't record it because it was so good and so I'm just using in uh, a cookie scoop to scoop like two maybe two and a half scoops into um for my pie and then i'm going to seal the edges i am going to use a uh, i'm going to cut the excess dough off and then i'm going to use a fork to seal the edges um but this is it y'all this made about eight pies um I'm, again i'm going to use a fork to seal the edges and then i'm going to use an egg wash so that our pies can be nice and golden brown when they come out the oven and then you want to make sure that you cut a few slits in the top of your pie so that the steam can escape um of course i made way too much filling and not enough dough and so i probably wouldn't make as much of the filling next time because um i didn't have enough dough so i had extra uh, filling and I just put it in the freezer and so I baked these in a 375 degree oven for about 30 minutes and so this is what they look like I did let them cool off on a wire rack before I bust these babies open and so this is what it looks like on the inside this is so delicious y'all I really enjoyed this um, I'll be sure to list all the ingredients in the description box below but thank you guys so much for watching my channel I truly appreciate the support See you next time. Bye.